Hey Potter nerds, it is Kathleen and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful magical day. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're not. So when this video is uploaded, it is September 1st, which is back to Hogwarts Day as all of us in the Wizarding World know. It is the day when Hogwarts students board the um, Hogwarts Express at Platform 9 and 3 quarters and make the trek to Hogwarts and the opening feast commences and sorting happens and all this wonderful stuff happens. But I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little old. <laughs> I definitely am a little past the age of a Hogwarts student. Most students um, graduate by the time they're 17, 18. So I kind of missed that party by almost 10 years. So I'm thinking where I exist in this universe, uh, in Back to Hogwarts time is a Hogwarts alumni who wants to offer her top 10 tips and tricks for Back to Hogwarts, for students going back to Hogwarts, something like that. So that is what this video is to commemorate September 1st, this exciting day where I just feel so much nostalgia and Potterhead just pride. And yeah, that is what we're doing today. Uh, before we get into that though, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button below and add a little more Lumos to your day and give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to go back to Hogwarts. Alright, I'm going to stop talking and let's get straight into the video. Hello Hogwarts students, whether you're returning or brand new. As a Hogwarts alumni, I think that is my duty to offer you some tips and tricks for um, things to do when you go back to Hogwarts from someone who's been there. So this is the top 10 tips and tricks for going back to Hogwarts. So tip number one is more of a public safety PSA, but I figure that is, that is important to talk about, not just in um, our wizarding world, but for the world as a whole. Bring yourself a mask. Uh, when you, uh, before you even get to Hogwarts, you're going to be going to King's Cross in London. There's a lot of people and they may or may not be social distancing. It's 2020 uh, going back to Hogwarts. So did you really think that there was not going to be a mask in here? So I have a really cute mask here that I like to wear when I go out into the muggle world. And if it didn't violate the statue of secrecy, I would take this off of muggle worthy mode. Um, and show you how I bewitched it to make the golden stitches fly. But because I don't want to break any rules and get arrested by the ministry, I just want to show this off as well. So please wear a mask. Hogwarts has taken all the precautions uh, necessary. Obviously, this is more of a muggle disease, but some we do have um, we do have uh, students that um, grew up in the muggle world, so we just need to to be as careful as possible to not bring this to um, the wizarding world where it can it can mutate um, and affect more people in our world. So let's do our part to flatten the curve, not just for us, but for our muggle brothers and sisters and siblings. So wear your mask. So picture it: you have made it onto platform nine and three quarters. You have boarded the Hogwarts Express and you're beginning your journey to Hogwarts. So exciting, but you're getting a little hungry and you're so excited for the trolley witch to come by with all the candy on the trolley. And she gets there and somebody has bought all of it. <coughs> Harry Potter. <coughs> anyway, so my tip number two for you when going back to Hogwarts is bring to snacks ahead of time. So go ahead and stock up at, at the sweet shops and Diagon Alley before, uh, when you're getting your school supplies. I have some jelly slugs and some gummy creatures, which you can also load up on all of your favorite goodies that you would find on the trolley. So that way, if you do find yourself with some selfish uh, student who bought all, who bought the bought the lot, you're not going to go hungry on your journey to Hogwarts. So the next tip is specifically for first time Hogwarts students. It's exciting, you finally gotten off of the Hogwarts Express at Hogsmeade Station. You meet Hagrid and you're 
in the boats and you see Hogwarts for the first time and it's so exciting but in the back of your mind I'm sure you're nervous about the sorting ceremony and what house you're going to be sorted into so my tip number three is don't be nervous about sorting because really what the sorting hat looks at is your best traits I think that we all have the traits of each house in us but the sorting hat looks on the trait that we act on that is our strongest and makes us who we are so if you get sore into a house that you weren't expecting it's still you're still gonna find a home there so tip number four is about the stairs at Hogwarts so for first year students you may or may not be aware you may have had siblings tell you but there are a lot of stairs at Hogwarts they move around some have trick steps it's honestly a safety violation I don't know how there aren't more lawsuits um, for, through the ministry with this I guess um, I guess I my parents must have signed lots and lots of uh, <laughs> lots and lots of contracts that um, were basically uh, d would sign away any liability for Hogwarts for any harm that would happen but please be super careful with steps um, if the, the stairs move they do so don't be running up the stairs in a hurry because I wouldn't want you falling. People, look, no, nobody's fallen off the stairs recently. Okay, maybe two or three students fall a year. It happens, but don't worry. You'll you'll more than likely survive, and Madame Pomfrey will <laughs> will put you back together. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to scare you. So if you have any, um any nerves or anxiety about the stairs or honestly just need some direction about the trick steps ask, ask an upperclassman they'll be happy to point out to you ask your prefect your head boy or head girl just don't be afraid to ask questions about the stairs and please be safe tip number five is all about quidditch now more than likely your first year you aren't going to make the quidditch team in the Quidditch team only has a certain amount of players, so more than likely, whoever's on the team is going to stay on there and it's only going to be very limited spots. So if you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. So deck yourself out in your uh, in house pride and go to those Quidditch games, support your Quidditch team, and brush up those cheers. <laughs> Fellow Gryffindors, join me. Go, go, Gryffindor. Go, go, Gryffindor. So you might be asking, Kathleen, what happens if I don't get sworn into Gryffindor? How am I going to know what cheers to do? Well, I'm going to tell you the other cheers. There is the very spirited hustle, hustle, huffle, puff. Hustle, hustle, huffle, puff. Then there's the very proud rah, rah, Ravenclaw. Rah, rah, Ravenclaw. And, and for the very end, there is the very, very loud, soar, soar, Slytherin, soar, soar, Slytherin. So there you go. Practice your quiz cheers. Be an athletic supporter. Now the next tip, tip number six, might be a, sound a little Ravenclaw of me, but take advantage of the library. The library is amazing. There's nothing else like it in the wizarding world. And I could I spent hours in the library. I would have spent more, honestly, but I didn't want to get in trouble for being out of bed um, after hour, <laughs> after student hours. But some of my favorite books, if you want to know, are Fantastic Beast is obviously on your first year, uh, first year book list, but it will never get old. This amazing classic by Newt Scamander is so good. And the addition that they have in the Hogwarts library is gorgeous. Another one that I like, which goes with last tip, is Quidditch Through the Ages. So if you're not very well versed on Quidditch or how a Quidditch game works or anything like that, this is the book for you and it tells you the history of Quidditch. It's really cool. And another book is if you're missing home and missing, um, just missing your family, Tales of Beale the Bard. Um, is a great book to read to re just to remember the 
story times that you have with your family back home. Or if you're a muggle born and you don't know about the uh, Wizarding World fairy tales, this is the book for you. I don't, I don't quite remember uh, buying this book um, or seeing this in the uh, Hogwarts library. Um, doesn't have anything in it. I'll have to check it out later. Um, let you know how that goes. And then these are my two absolute um, go to, well, same book, but these are my absolute go to's. So you're going to have several spell books, um, textbooks that you buy, but at the library, the Hogwarts Library, they have these very comprehensive spell books that have everything like um, wand movements, telling you where they originated, and it's basically the perfect study guide for your charms charms exams and charms owls and newts. So, bit, bit nerdy, this tip, but take advantage of the library. It is your friend. It is everything that you will need to succeed at Hogwarts. So, tip number seven for going back to Hogwarts is do not stay cooped up in your common room. Do not stay co cooped up in the classrooms or the library. Obviously, I said um, take advantage of the library, but do all the exploring you can within the rules, or you can break them. I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you what you should or should not do, but explore the castle, explore the grounds. There's so much to Hogwarts, there's so much beauty. Have a picnic by the Black Lake, do your homework outside on the grounds, um, go have a cup of tea with Hagrid, go make friends with your professors. Do not stay cooped up in your common room. Get to know people. Tip number eight takes us to Hogsmeade, to my favorite place, which is the Three Broomsticks. So my tip for you, going to the Three Broomsticks, is to bring your own mug. Now, they have special bring your own mug nights for Hogwarts students, so that, and they give you discount uh, butterbeer if you bring your own mug. So that is my tip for you. Always bring your butterbeer mug and save your butterbeer mugs if you buy them. So tip number nine, is very important to me. Do not be afraid to branch out of your Hogwarts house and make friends with other people in other Hogwarts houses. Because you may love your fellow Gryffindors or your fellow Hufflepuffs, your fellow Ravenclaws or fellow Slytherins, but you're doing yourself a disservice by not hanging out with people that, are, that come from different walks of life who, have, who are different from you or you might find stuff in common with them. House unity is so important, especially after the war against Voldemort. Um, I am saying his name because he doesn't have hold any power over me anymore and any of us. But house unity is so important because for a long time, Slytherin's got a bad rap. People thought Hufflepuffs were weak, that Ravenclaws are stuck up, that Gryffindors are cocky. Because we weren't spending time with each other, we were just thinking the wrong thing and not even actually getting to know the other person. So, tip number nine, get to know other people outside of your Hogwarts house. And tip number ten, final, the, the final tip is enjoy everything about Hogwarts while you can. Enjoy those seven years at Hogwarts because there is nothing quite like Hogwarts and I certainly miss my years. But also know, no matter how far you roam, Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you home. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy September 1st. Let me know in the comments what excites you the most about going back to Hogwarts. I love all of you so much. Thank you for bringing Lumos to my life. And let's continue to live Lumos every day. Bye.